good. A little bit bigger. There we go. That looks better. Do we have sound? We do indeed. So hello, hello, people of the internet. It is I, Soul Rack Dragon here, back with more Fate Grand Order, where today you'll be continuing the summer event. First things first, though, let us go ahead and claim the two days worth of stuff that accumulated in the time in between. Yeah, just two. And that's it. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the event. I have done a fair bit of farming in the downtime. I need 8,000 points in order to progress to the next main quest. So that is just 31 chests to be opened. And I've got a little bit more than that. Just a little bit. Main reason I'm not opening all of them is simply because I want to know how much I'm going to need for the next bit. Alright, so, new quest has been unlocked at base camp. So, we are at base camp. Let me get the... I should have gotten the walkthrough opened up before. Alright, so we are on Act 4 of... Oof, we are, like, not even halfway through the event, and I'm pretty sure the event's near wrapping up point. So yeah, we're, gonna, we're just taking it slow, you know? Slow and steady wins the race. So, uh, looks like the silver currency node is recommended for here so let's get this started section four loss is to be feared and if memory serves the last time we ended off with us falling asleep on a lap pillow a la cama so let's see where this will start us off it does look like it's got a lot of a long pre-battle pre-read as well from the journal of Leonardo da Vinci. Steggy is too cute for words today, just like every day, really. Still, I can't ignore what our very own director Gorolf had to say. The first question is, does Steggy only exist in the singularity? And the answer is, probably. The next question it then becomes, did Steggy cause the singularity? And to that I say, maybe? Either way, there is only, there is one thing I know for sure. At one point, Steggy and I We'll have to say goodbye. Uh, not necessarily, Da Vinci, not necessarily. Their encounter may or may not have ever happened. But had they never crossed each other's paths and their values and ideologies couldn't have been more different. But perhaps the fact that neither one knew what the other would one day become made this incident indistinguishable from fantasy. I didn't lie, I never lie. There was a monster in that cave. There's no such thing as monsters, I'm positive about that. I hate you. I hate you too. So I'm going to, I'm going to the sea. The big wide open sea where you'll never be able to follow me. I'm going to conquer the sea and make it my own. Who cares, there are plenty of fascinating things out there besides the sea. Just don't follow me. Don't you follow me either. And so they both turned their noses up and marched off in opposite directions. Did this really happen? Did they actually speak to one another? The truth lies far beyond the bounds of history and memory. I have no idea who was talking there. Aren't they kind of weak? Still don't necessarily recognize the silhouette, honestly. Mm, oh no, not to worry. Those were still from the very first mass-produced batch. Rest assured the new models will only continue to improve in quality and quantity, even as our costs go down. So, like, you'll keep coming up with new versions. Yes, yes, absolutely. In modern parlance, it'll just, it'll be just like how 7 went to XP and XP went to me. That sounds like it's going backwards, but eh, whatever. As long as they keep getting stronger, I don't care what you call it. Alright, do it. Make sure you get a hold of the you-know-what this time. Yes, sir, absolutely. It doesn't belong with her. Only people overflowing with hopes and dreams like me have the right to cradle it. Yeah, I don't recognize that servant silhouette. Section 4, loss is to be feared. Truth. Much, much truth. 
Morning, Da Vinci. Oh, morning. Is everything okay? You look like you're worried about Steggy. Oh, he woke up bleeding last night. And he wasn't just hungry. No, I tried giving him some raw veggies, but that didn't seem to be it. I think he misses something. Oh, I see. Maybe he misses his friends. He must be lonely being the only one of his kind. Easy, though. Yeah, I wonder. Scotland has legends of Nessie, and there are some theories that old dinosaurs still exist in the modern era. Mm, I doubt it. No matter how many unknown mystics there may still be out there, this world just isn't forgiving enough for prehistoric creatures to survive all this time. Unverifiable eyewitness reports are one thing, but when you're talking about living, breathing creatures, I just don't see a way where it's possible. So the very fact that Steggy's around at all is nothing short of a miracle. There, there. I wonder how the Holy Grail turned into a dino in the first place. That's an excellent question. Maybe it was granting his wish. No, I've only got a hunch here, but I don't think that's it. Then maybe someone else wished for Steggy to come back to life? That could be it. Oops, sorry, Steggy. Okay, time for another day of adventure. Morning, everyone. Let's start searching for the third treasure, shall we? Yeah. Foe! I knew it. Foe does see Steggy as a rival. But first, I'd once again like to ask a number of you to stay behind and guard the camp. And one more thing, I'd like to gather any information we can about those mass-produced Columbuses. Okay, Mandy and I will handle that. You want me to help gather info? Me? Why me? Now that's the look of a hero who was betrayed by his allies the moment he finally defeated the Demon Lord. Anyway, you don't have to ask around if you don't want to. You can just tag along. Okay, I'll come along too. Because I can't help but worry. You have every reason to be worried, so thanks, actually. Then we'll go along too, right, Rengoku? Yeah, yeah. Well, I suppose five, four and a half, servants should be more than enough for gathering information. So that just leaves. Oh, there you are. What, what you holding down the camp today, Goff? I'll stay behind with you, then. I am your interim safety officer and all that. Excellent. I'm glad you didn't just forget that overnight. Thanks, Canis. Yeah, well, a job's a job. You punks just don't stay out too late. Got it? Get back here as soon as you've done what you need to do, preferably before sunset. We, and by we I mean mostly golf, will have dinner ready and waiting for you when you get back. Okay. Alright guys, let's get going. We're off to find the third treasure today. At least have breakfast before you leave. Right, after we have breakfast. Breakfast is the best. I don't know. It seems like the place on the map, but all I see here is an ordinary forest, so I guess we didn't have to go sailing today. No, wait, if you look closer, you can see the other people have been here before. There's definitely something here. You know, I'm kind of getting some Japanese vibes from this place. Just me. Um, like what? All right, maybe you don't see them because you're not as familiar with them. Well, like, see those vines over that boulder? They kind of look like Shimenawa. The rope they use at shrines to mark and purify holy areas and trees and such. And then there's those bent and broken trees over there. Don't those kind of look like Tory gates? <laughs> Even in a foreign land, I can't help but think of the, about home. Guess you can take the gal out of Japan, but you can't take Japan out of the gal. Now that you mention it, I think I do see what you're talking about. Okay, why don't you choose the for path forward then, Nagiko? Whoa, really? Intuition is important, and so is association. Alright, you're on. You won't regret this. Just follow me and don't look back. Are you sure letting that debts lead the way is a good idea? Hey, comma! I don't think I expected you to be here. Yeah, no harm. Don't I see any harm in giving it a shot. Alright, Master, if you say so. Besides, I'm sure detours will provide ample opportunity for bonding. <laughs> yeah, I am surprised you're still here. And just what is that supposed to mean? Oh, damn, you totally gotta see this, John Moss. I actually found something totally weird. Here, give me your hand. There's no time to lose. Oh, did you just kidnap Master? Come on, let's go after them. Senpai, wait for us! <laughs> Mm, 
Hmm. Now what is it? Why did you stop them after making us run all this way? What did you find, Nagiko? Huh? It does feel like there's something here, but it's dead end. All I see is a big boulder. Duggos. Well, that's not all there is here. Look at those adorable tiny puppy statues. Not only are they more not that they're more adorable than me. Certainly not. Not touching that one at all. That's that's um that's definitely asking for trouble. Sure aren't. Oh master, you can be so mean sometimes. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's just figure out what these statues could mean. Good point. Well, there are two of them. Could that mean something? That could definitely be the key to some part of this. Hmm, what to try next? Why not? Let me just grab these statues next, and then... Ah, what do you think you're looking? What the hell are you doing? That was our biggest clue, and you just... Wait. <laughs> she broke the necks of the statues. Well, the, bo the boulder we thought was a dead end is opening like a door. Nagiko moving the statues must have done something. Yep, whatever the trick was here, she seems to have figured it out. <laughs> so these things are just like Komai knew, which make it even weirder they weren't facing each other. Oh, so these are... I don't know what they are. Yep, I figured something might happen if I made a face where they should. Well, Chanamas, impressed. Actually, now that I look closer, I guess they're not Komainu so much as after all. Something about them screams cheap knockoff. You could have said something first. Jeez, you just immediately act on every thought you have, huh? Maybe because you're a berserker now. Well, whatever. Let's see what's inside. There's a stone staircase here. Looks like it goes down pretty deep. Oh, I see. So we're dealing with something like ancient sealed off ruins then. Oh, I like the sound of that. That could be delightful. I think it's safe to say we found what the map was leading us to. Which means the treasure hunt the treasure must be down here. There's only one problem. The passage looks narrower than I would have thought. If we all head in together and something unexpected happens, we could end up pretty much stuck. Tight squeeze or no, we should still have someone keep a watch at the entrance. So somebody's gotta stay behind. Well, see being small as an asset here, then Steggy and I are all set. <laughs> I know, right? An underground room with untold mysteries lying in wait. You couldn't possibly resist something so enticing. I see, so being small is a good thing here, hmm? Huh? Well, you got small. Well, so absurd or not, I'm still me, you know. And right now, you're the only one I've got in my sights, Master. Putting my own personal taste aside. If what giving you my brand of love is the situation requires is me being small, then small is what it'll be. Well, Master, aren't you glad I'm here? Just let my charms beguile you and you'll fall deeply in love with... Um, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't hear you. My ears... Oh, Anastasia's got my ears covered. That conniving little grand duchess. Hehehe. <laughs> So who's gonna stay behind, John Moss? Either way, I'm good either way. Could I make a suggestion? I think Nagiko should go with you, Master. You might need your help again to solve any other riddles you come across. Well, really? I mean, you do know we're talking about me here. I do, I'm not sure why, but it does seem like these ruins have a Japanese theme to them. And there could very well be other mechanisms that fit that theme up ahead. You've proven you're the one who's most likely to notice them, Nagiko. I mean, you did find this entrance. Now that I'm a little worried about what else you might pull, but your results do speak for themselves. I wish I could go too, but looks like Mash and I will have to stay behind. So Senpai, Da Vinci, Kama, Anastasia, Nagiko. Ooh, neck pop. That does seem like as many people that can go on this expedition. I wish you could come along as well, but I agree it's best if Achilles and I keep watch here. Yeah, it's really important to secure an exit route when exploring an enclosed space like this. If nothing else, we want to be sure the stone doors don't close behind you without any way to open them. Come on, Master. I can't wait to see what this expedition has in store. 
I love how this is just, you know, love rivals between all the female servants. They're not even being subtle about it this time. <laughs> What's going on here? Is this supposed to be Japanese style? I mean, this is also fishy. I'm having a blast already. Are you? Well, I guess you're the giddy Dutch, Grand Duchess over there. Do seem to be enjoying yourselves. Mm. Just stick together, okay, everybody? <clears throat> Good point. Ruins like this aren't exactly known for being safe. Most places practically oozing mystics aren't. I will be fine. If this were a normal cave, I might be worried about things like bears, but this place has been sealed off for who knows how long, right? If anything dangerous... <sighs> Oh, yeah. Was trapped here. It would surely died long ago. Mm, I see your point. But it also wouldn't surprise me to run into some booby trap. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Anastasia. There. You see? Yikes. Well, there you go. A death track. You're lucky it missed. Here, Master. Stay close to me, okay? You'll be safe with me. That's all well and good, but I think I'm hearing something slithering our way. Snacks. Looks like there are enemies here after all. Maybe these ruins have their own unique ecosystem, or these creatures don't require energy to function. Maybe they're magecraft guardians that manifested when the entrance was opened. I have a thought. Why don't you figure out, figure out how these things are here after we stop them from killing us? A very good point there, Kama. A very excellent point. Do we have comma? We do have comma access. All right, so we get to give comma a shot before we actually get her. Um, we do want the silver tier here, as far as the servants goes. And I don't know why I've got Emia here. Really don't know why Emia was chosen over Mash. That's weird of me to do. And why the five star CE as well? I'm kind of puzzling myself. Let's just go with Sink Deeper for more pirate treasure drops. And go like so. This should do. Alright, Mr. Code, we do. Alright, let's see how Summer Kama plays. Shall we? Snicks, step down a trap for an MP drop. So, Summer Kama is an AoE Arts Avenger. Kind of already went over her end piece um, being super powerful last time, but yeah. AoE Arts Archer, Arts Avenger. Yeah. Two quick, two arts, one buster as far as the code goes. Skill one is Avenger Beat to, to increase the amount of MP gain when damaged, but debuff, debuff. Decrease debuff resist for all allies. Oblivion Correction B for crit strength increase. Self Restoration Magical Energy A for MP gauge every turn. Independent Manifestation E for crit strength and death resist, as well as manifest, as well as mental debuff resist for yourself. Magic Res A for debuff resist. Good Lord Riding Skill A for quick effectiveness. Core of the Demon Kink question mark B for damage plus, as well as charm immunity. And Treasure Hunter EX, which is just the standard. Her first skill is Makara Floating A, which is a 3 turn arc card effectiveness increase, as well as a 2 time evade for 3 turns uh, for yourself. 7 turns at this, so a 6 turn cooldown on that. Second skill is Hollow Evil EX, because she's not really evil. Uh, 8 turn cooldown here, so it's a 7 turn cooldown in the end. Increase MP strength for 3 turns, as well as in a high chance to inflict charm for 1 turn to all enemies. Final skill is Midsummer C Mara EX. Six turn cooldown at max level. Uh, welcome, Captain Venom. How be things? How be things? Increase NP gauge and apply state of inflict Flames of Love during normal attacks for three turns. Apply special attack Flames of Love, um, which damage increases with each amount of Flames of Love on yourself. And it does not look like that matters now, so we can go ahead and. Go ahead and pop that right off the top. That looks like it is a 50 charge at max level, I'm guessing. Waiting for Canis. Uh, it's gonna be Nagito and Kama for me. Those are the two I'm waiting for. Tomorrow, I think, technically, is gonna drop. 
So I'm very much looking forward to tomorrow. I'm debating if I want to actually stream tomorrow. FGO volume is a little bit loud. Okay, I can fix that. Um, let's see here. Turn the desktop audio down a smidgen. There we go. How's that? Does that sound a little bit better? I guess the game volume was a little bit louder than I expected. Alright, go like this. Actually, this song is very much louder than normal, I feel. Yeah, I'm definitely going for Summer Kama at the least. No matter how hard I need to go for her, she will be coming home to my Caldera. I'm still not sure, though, if I'm going to go harder than NP1 or not, though. But let's see how First Ascension Summer Kama's ND looks. Drawn on the dark side of Sakura with the familiars. Nice. I like that reference. I really do like that reference to uh, Dark Sakura. Alrighty. You're gonna do two packs. Yeah, I'm. If you get Canis early, even not even that though. Yeah, I know I'm gonna at the very least have to do one pack. I think I've got 90 quarts right now. It's just gonna be Future Me's funds, which I mean. The rest of this year has a lot of servants I am going for. I know I'm going for Jacques de Molay next month. And then end of year I'm going for um, pretty much everybody from Tunguska. As well as Koyan at the beginning of next year. But beyond that, I'm not going to be really going for too much, I don't think, off the top of my head. Guess those snakes were cut weren't that cut out for being guardians. Metal train? I don't know who says that off the top of my head. Not that snakes can cut much of anything since they're well snakes. Whew. Hmm? What is it, Steggy? Is there something over that? I was going to rescue you guys if it looked like you needed help. But I guess you were fine on your own, huh? You. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. Mysterious savior. Who is it? Honestly, I have no idea. We literally have all of the summer servants already here. We already have literally everybody that is on the banners present, so. Oh, it's a no battle note, so I guess they're not hostile yet. Yet is the key word. You. Oh, it's Ishtar. Anastasia doesn't like Ishtar. Are you going to say something? I'm sorry. That pause went on for so long, I completely forgot what I was going to say. Why are you a secret berserker? Ishtar, why are you here? Huh? There's treasure here, and treasure means jewels, right? So why wouldn't I be here? You might be my master, but that doesn't mean I'm about to let you snatch my jewels for yourself. And I'm only here because this more aggressive Ishtarin forced me to come. <laughs> oh, Jane. Honestly, a bit of a surprise to see her here. Honestly, a surprise. That said, bounty hunting and a treasure hunting do have a lot in common, so this really isn't my first ruined delving rodeo. I just figured, okay, seems like fun, and what the hey? Besides, skills are like anything else. Use them or lose them. Use them or lose them, indeed. Hey, you should be grateful. It's not every day you get to help out a goddess like me. Although I only brought her because of scout her scouting skills, but we do seem to get along weirdly well. Looks like I've got myself another good find. A, hey, I like that they have uh, that bond there. Not you two, Jane. I think I feel like Jane will just get along with any Rin face, it, just from the sounds of it. Calamity Jane will get along with any of the worth of the Rin faces. Oh, a goddess of Venus who turns out to be no more than a fool lured herself here. A fool lured here against better, her better judgment by the promise of treasure. What a joke. You got a problem with me, love goddess. 
I don't know why, but there's something about your face that pisses me off. Oh, the sister rivalry. If we're just now bumping into you here, then there must have been another way into these ruins. Not that I'm too surprised. The passageways might be narrow, but as a whole, these ruins seem pretty spacious. So you guys are here for the treasure of two, then. That's right. Looks like it's a race. See which one of us can navigate these ruins and find the treasure first. Oh, what happened to you two? Did the treasure put a curse on you or something? No, I think they're just like that. Gotcha. Makes sense. So on that note, let's get this race started. Ooh, wait, is it the pace Ishtar in? Well, see you later. Oh, I'm pretty sure that wasn't the only track there. Yeah, I'd be really careful if I was you. We need that treasure to repair the singularity so we can't back down from this fight. Come on, we're just going to have to make sure we beat Ishtar to the treasure. It does seem that way. Fortunately, Vi should be able to help us detect other traps. Then why didn't you have him do that in the first place? And ruin all the fun? This is supposed to be a thrilling expedition. In exchange for Vi's help, I'll be counting on you to solve any riddles we come across. You got it, Anachi. I'll handle these traps. You handle the traps, I'll do the thinky bits. Then my job will be to put Master's nerves at ease. My shrieking adorably at every creepy noise and clinging him to date your life. Don't worry, I'll give it everything I've got. I don't think that's actually a thing, but whatever. Alright guys, let's make our way through these ruins. Yeah, Kama, uh, only do that if you are at least second ascension, please. Just saying. Just saying, Kama. Second ascension or higher only, please. Uh, loss is to be feared. Third arrow. Form party immediately before. Didn't I just press that? Did it seriously give me the warning twice? Or was I just... Did I skip and misread something? Yeah, Lolly Vinci is real. Summer Da Vinci is really good. I really should just go. You know what? Dun Vinci is probably the best way to describe her. Dun Vinci. Gotta remember Mike, the only fairy that prevented himself from becoming a Morse. Rest in peace, Mike. Rest in peace. Mm hmm. Whoop. Found a tripwire. So this connects there, which will lead to that. So I just have to cut it then. Snip, snip. This is way more boring than I expected. That's treasure hunting for ya. You know, I just realized something. Pretty much all these traps are on the floor, right? I'm always floating, so do I have a need to worry about them? What am I saying? Of course I don't. My goddess intuition is telling me I have nothing to worry about. And since speed is of the essence right now, I think it'll be fine if I go on ahead. Don't worry, I'll holler if there's any mechanisms I can't get past. Say a door I can't pry open with brute strength. So brute forcing your way through is your plan anyway. Not a good idea, Ishtarin. Traps like these are designed to lull you into getting complacent. You should assume they've all been planned for people being lazy and thinking they can just stay off the floor and... Oh, no, there's a... Um... The fairy at the very beginning, Hope. Yep, Hope. Um... Can't forget Red Rabbit. Like... And it's mainly because of... Um... The way he actually goes out. He literally runs himself to death to get us back to the storm border. Um, Gareth was also a pretty damn good fairy. Even as Ainsel. You know, Gareth was pretty good. Um, you're not counting Regia or the other guys. Okay, fair. Uh, then a not servant fairy would be the Black Knight. The one that traveled with Morgan and it ended up being Castoria's, you know, um, I guess mentor in blacksmithing is the best way to put it. He gave his life to get her out of there. I'd say he was a pretty good fairy. There you see. Now I've got a giant bullet coming straight for us. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I noticed... Oh, crap, we're not going to make it. Fine, if we can't run away, I'll just do this. Oh, I thought she was totally going to get absorbed by the boulder. Hm, easy as pie. Sorry to interrupt your victory here, tossing Ishtarin, but we wouldn't have had to worry about that boulder at all if he'd been more careful. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, at least I figured out the solution, right? I mean, yeah, there's a lot of fairies that are easy to forget that were pretty good. Um...
Let me think. There's also that Fang clan fairy at the very beginning who ended up just being straight up beheaded by his contemporaries because he didn't think we should be locked up or anything. He was pretty decent as well, I feel. Can't remember his name, though, <laughs> sadly. Although I think he was a bit of a dick to Hope, so maybe not, maybe not decent, but he wasn't bad, you know, so that, that's something. Now to plan out a route again. And there is no telling how far we might be from our goal. <laughs> he works even IRL. True that? True that? The Nameless Woods. And truly, that would be a terrifying curse. Truly, truly a terrifying curse. Got us not, you really should try not to waste unnecessary energy. Okay, okay, you've made your point. I'll let you get back to your disarming the traps, then. All that aside, there really are a ton of them down here. I wonder how Master's Gang is doing. I want to say Baobon would be okay if she wasn't corrupted by Barrel. Just from the sounds of it, she was a good fairy. It makes me kind of pity her. And I do hope that she um, finds happiness in Caldea. In future events. I mean, obviously she's got the summer event and... I've seen Summer Baobon's Ascensions, and whew, gotta say, I love all of them. Um, hard to choose between all her Ascensions, honestly, for Summer. Really hard to choose. I think there's something on the floor over there. Let's see what we've got. It's a pretty simple mechanism, so long as you notice it before you set off, and it's easy to disarm. Nice job. Man, this is going great. Almost makes me feel bad for having so much fun. Can't see. I can see the next room. Guess this means it's our turn now. Bargas, you know, she was doing her duty as a knight. I feel like if she didn't have the curse on her, Bargas would have been a very good fairy as well. But she was sort of bound by her duty as a knight to Morgan, as well, who helped her with her curse to devour her loved ones. And, you know, the curse to devour her loved ones, which... I mean, yeah, it's just the whole the slaying of literally everything in the autumn in the autumn woods is a lot of people's points against Bargest, you know? The fact that the fact that she was willing to commit such an atrocity as a knight. That's me that's a lot of people's points against her. But I mean, really she owes the fact that she was still sane to Morgan, so it's like, you know, she kind of has to do it. She's thankful to Morgan for keeping her sane like that. What in the world? There's a huge hole in the floor. Wow, it's deep. I can't see the bottom. It looks like we can jump across using those tiles. They all have pictures of animals on them. I smell a trap. Yes, I think so too, but he can't tell just what sort of trap it is. Hey, over here. I think there's something written on the wall. Monkey, horse, snake, spider. Sure looks like a hint to me. Well, I'm guessing we have to follow the correct route to open the next door, and if we mess up, the track activates. So all these floor tiles have pictures of animals on them, huh? Seems like that must be important, then. I see monkeys, horse, snakes, and spiders, and they repeat. <laughs> now I see snakes, horses, and monkeys. It can only mean one thing. The Chinese Zodiac. Really? That's your answer? Yeah, spiders aren't part of the Zodiac there, Nagiko. Hmm? Hey guys, check this out. There's something right underneath this tile. It looks like more pirate penmanship. And if it is, then we should be able to use Blackbeard's cheat sheet to decipher it. Oh, it's just a zero and an up. And the arrow is pointing directly to the snake tile. Hmm, interesting. Zero, zero. What's more, these tiles are... I've got it! What's the answer, then? Now, all in good time, Master. I think for a riddle like this, you'll be more satisfied if you figure out the answer yourself. So go on, think about it. Of course, if you're really feeling stumped, I can always give you a hint. So what do you want to do? I'll figure it out on my own. Great. So, which of these three routes is correct? Well, zero up, I think, honestly, means that the snake is the starting path up here um but if it repeats in order so 
So first option starts with the snake. Second up, yeah, the sec. I'd like the first option because it starts with snake, but then it goes monkey, horse, spider. I mean, I guess if if I was looking at it, I would think snake, spider, monkey, horse. Because just the way it implies, since it sequence repeats apparently, is that it, the snake would be the starting of the sequence. But based on this, it's almost like it's saying the snake goes to the start of the sequence. So it would be then snake, monkey, horse, spider. Which I guess makes sense. To snake, I do feel, is the starting rep of this song. Lord only knows what the other ones are. Like... Spider Snake Horse Monkey could be something if, like, you want to reverse the routes. But, yeah, I'm going with the first choice. Okay, let's give that route a shot. Just watch your step and don't slip or and fall. Okay, soul. Don't worry if he falls, I'll go down with him. <coughs> Excuse me. You hear that, Master? I'll follow you wherever you go. Even the depths of hell or the edge of depravity. <laughs> Say that when you're in your older ascension. Okay, snake, monkey, horse, and spider. Well, thank you, Captain. Looks like that was right. So it was the number of legs ordered least to most. I didn't even consider that. I didn't even consider that. Well, I mean, <laughs> I got the right answer, just the complete wrong justification. Uh, that's kind of hilarious, just like how I got the red text in Avalon Le Fay, yet I did not suspect Oberon in the slightest bit. <laughs> uh, I arrive at the right answer through the wrong means. That's just the Solrak Dragon experience. Pretty easy once you figure it out. I still have no idea where the Zodiac thing came from, though. Even I know that spiders aren't part of that. I guess I left my entertainer spirit get the best of me. But seriously, doesn't it seem like some creepzoids were born in the year of the spider? Like Mumbo-chan and... Mambo-chan. So I guess I thought more about it, the more I convinced myself the year of the spider was a thing. I swear. Alright, you idiot. Come on, let's just see what's behind the door we just opened. More enemies. More enemies, huh? Figures. I guess not even the correct route can get us out of having to face demonic beasts. Alright, guys, let's get them. Uh, I got the red dialogue at the end of Avalon Le Fay. Yeah, I did not suspect Oberon of, um, his Oberon-ness. I somehow got the, um, I mean, I knew that there was something more to the whole thing. Yes, Oberon was a bro through the whole of the Lost Belt. I didn't suspect him as being a bad guy. Legit 100%. Like, the people in the stream were surprised that I was surprised. Rather, they were surprised that I got the red dialogue without suspecting Oberon as being the bad guy. I guess I also got, like, a rare scene as well involving Oberon. Um, something about the... It was like a special dream scene during the final fight or whatever, or after the final fight, I guess. Or like we confront him in a dream or something. Yeah, I didn't. I honestly didn't catch him out as being shifty. But from what it sounds like, I also only used him in fights once. So apparently, you can fight him or use him in fights more than once, and he changes classes more than I saw. Like. I think I got, I only used him in a fight when he was in his Rider variant against, um, Vargas. I think that's the only time I actually used Oberon. So, I did not see his multiple forms. 
So that also sort of went away from the suspicions. Yeah, I got, I mean, I got the red dialogue, which implies that the in-game version of me sussed out Oberon, but the me version of me didn't. So that was a very nice twist to the Lost Belt. I'm glad that I got the unique situation that spawned from it, you know? Yay! Come on, Anachi. It's victory selfie time. And funny face! Whew. Looks like things are working out pretty well so far. We should be able to explore these ruins in no time if we keep this pace up. You know, funny thing about Anastasia there, just because I browse the FGO subreddit, apparently she is one of the first recorded selfies. Like out there, like somebody posted an image of what the actual Anastasia did a selfie of her grinning with fake teeth. Yeah, that was that was pretty good. I like that, and I and a lot of people are wondering because I mean, some of these servants are fairly modern, and they just wonder how they would react to these iterations of themselves, you know. And it is something to think about. It is something to think about how they would react to this. Oh, this is different. In this quest, you must fulfill certain conditions within a set number of turns, or you will be defeated. Would you like to start the quest? Yep. Alright, um... Let's bring along Kama, because she has NP gainage possibilities. And let's go. Hmm, well, this looks like a classic finish line. That certainly is a big door, isn't it? it? Must lead to the treasury. Once more, Vi says it isn't booby trapped. Looks like it's not locked either. All I have to do is open it. Except, I wonder what's going on with that picture in Boston the door. Yeah, according to the plaque next to the door, it seems to have something to do with the reason these ruins were made in the first place. I think it's depicting a person who embodies a certain theme. I can only decipher bits and pieces, but it looks like it's depicting the Queen of Ancient Sipangu. Himiko. <laughs> Lady Himiko. Why does that picture look like you? Did you sneak in ahead of us and doodle on the wall or something? I mean, being a delinquent is kind of your thing now. You gotta, you've got the spray paint and everything. Being a delinquent is kind of size thing now. One would probably hate it because of the whole modesty thing. That's a fair point. I mean, Anastasia is a pretty modest character, I feel. I feel like Anastasia's got a pretty modest uh, thing. Drake was a man, true. I mean, there are a lot of uh, speculations on various servants. Like, I mean, it is speculated many... Not just in Fate, but that um, Oda Nobunaga was a woman. A lot of the Guda Guda crew, actually. Gets a lot of that weird speculation. Yeah, it is cur I am just curious, you know, as to how various servants would react to themselves in this. I feel like the more modern the servants might be a little bit more understanding, though. Uh, nope, hard to disagree. Plus, I don't remember doing anything like that anyway. Plus, from the sounds of it, um, Sai Shonagan here is pretty accurate to her actual self as well as far as personality goes. So I don't know. The actual Sai Shonagon might be happy with this too. Besides, my spray paint is temporary. It's totally disappears after a while. I can't tell exactly what these air what era these ancient ruins are from. But if some Caribbean pirates modified them somehow to hide their own treasure, then maybe. I mean, you're originally from over a millennia ago, right, Nagiko? So it's entirely plausible that a scroll or depiction or something bearing your likeness could have been passed. Could have been passed. Made its. That's weird grammar. Well, come on, Davico. You really think someone would vandalize old ruins like that? Actually, that explains a lot. I also feel like um, Nero might be fine with. Uh, 
the fate depiction of Nero. I don't know. You know, Nero is a little bit insane depicted, so possibly, possibly. We've already seen a bunch of stuff here that's sort of based on Japanese culture. It almost feels like they learn about Japan from crappy Western ninja movies or something. Maybe that's why these ruins feel like a bizarre homage to my homeland. Never mind that now. We should hurry. We're racing to find treasure, remember? Oh, took you long enough. Don't tell me you already have the treasure. Oh, fuck up. In fact, we haven't found the treasure yet either. Guess you're all still hanging in there, even if by a threat. Now, I'm sure the mechanism to open this jo door is in here somewhere, but you can't find it. I think I could if I had enough time, but I don't know if I have that luxury. Well, we definitely don't have time to pussyfoot around. I mean, our opponents are right there. Time for plan B. You mean... Blowing it up. You got it. I can work with that. Whoa, whoa, hold up. I'm vetoing that right now. You guys must have seen for yourselves how many tricky traps that were on their way here. There's no telling what might happen if we don't open the door the right way. I know that. Trust me, I had my own close encounter with a giant boulder. But it's like they say, no risk, no treasure, right? I... did I just make that up? And eh, whatever, still true. That's no use, this worthless goddess can't think of anything but that treasure. She really is a worthless goddess, isn't she? I'm actually a little embarrassed to be a goddess right now. Alright, since this dead end is stopping us from going further, we'll just have to settle this treasure race with a good old-fashioned fist fight. It was my first choice since this isn't exactly elegant, but here we are. Now, oh, unless you want to concede, I recommend conceding. If you do, I might let you get a whiff of the empty chest since I've taken all the jewels. Just shut up already. You say a fist fight's the only way to settle this? Fine, that makes things simple. Besides, this will be a great opportunity to show Master how useful I can be. Master, I'll have to buy keep the skin in the room, even while I'm fighting. Good idea. Our only goal here is to snap the treasure. So while you guys keep Ishtar busy, I'll try to find a way to open that door. If we can get it open first, we'll have a real shot at turning this around. Roger, roger. You're a cheeky one, aren't you? All that back talk is making me want to demonstrate who's the top dog in our pantheons. Maybe it's because I've got some love goddess aspects myself. Now, what would I know? I don't care who you think you're the top dog is. I just want to beat your ass until you apologize for being such an arrogant bitch. I think, uh... I think the hosts are starting to come out a little bit here. Even as they traded themselves, the two goddesses knew each possessed what the other lacked. And so it was only a matter of time until their unacknowledged attraction drew them closer to one another. Too bad Karochi's not here. I bet she would have loved this. What the hell she would? <laughs> oh, I think she would have. I think she would have. Fatal Battle. Ishtar and Jane. A bomb will go off in seven turns. Okay, so we have seven turns for victory here. Good to have a definitive time limit. Alright, um... Focus Ishtar down with these two. If we can get to the break bar here, that would be ideal. I want to break Ishtar before we go ham. Yeah, let's throw... Do I think I can break possibly if I do a little something, something like so? Yeah, I should break Ishtar this turn. Let's draw focus with Nash and then do a little something like this. Let's take a few more risks. Crit rate up and NP strength down, okay. I was worried we were going to see a full charge here. I'm glad we did not. But this it should be game, set, match. Miss the charm, though. Sadness. Tears. I cry every time. And we focus down Jane afterwards. Yeah, 
yeah, child comma saying those words really doesn't do good things. It needs to be second ascension or later, comma. Please and thank you. Alright, that wasn't that bad. It was not that bad at all. Aw oh man, this takes me back. This is just like the time I had that huge shootout with the Kaikyong Guardian. I accidentally activated those ancient space ruins. Man, those Kaikyong particle beams were so pretty. You know how, you know, beams are a lot like flower petals in that sense. Especially when they scatter. Yo, uh oh What the hell just did that? How would you treat me with a little more respect? Oh, that was Ishtar. And Kama. How about you do something about that literally god-awful habit of taking everything you want like it's owned to you? Okay, I'm better take advantage of this opportunity while I still can. I think there's a hint in this broken monument. Only the Queen's Visage key. It's a little fragmented, but it sounds like... Look, if I just found a suspicious-looking indentation, it's shaped to fit something like a human face. Well, that is what Visage means, right? Maybe it means a key is a mask or something. Uh, no, we need to put your face in there. Well, these are pretty old ruins. Maybe the mask was lost over time. But we're not out of options yet. You know what the queen of these ruins looks like now, after all. So I'm thinking... Hmm? Mind giving it a shot? <laughs> Say no more, Devico. I might be a huge delinquent right now, as my awesome outfit makes so clear. But the thing about delinquents is, they're super big on laying down their lives with their besties. Or so I hear. <sighs> Cow, it's all rough like sandpaper facial. I see, so instead of a mask of a queen's face, you're using the real face that looks just like hers. I wonder if it'll work. Oh, it does. That did it. That did it. Come on, let's go while Kama's keeping Ishtar and Jane busy. Oh my, what a lot of treasure. You could sled down the mountain. Those mountains of jewels. Ishtar knows, does know. Really? I had the impression that she's more talented at bumbling into some crisis or any- or other, if anything. You're not wrong about that, too. Or maybe I should keep stuff like that to myself? <laughs> hmm, all this treasure is really shiny. But it's nothing we need right now, more importantly. Ah, here it is. Are you sure we can't just pocket a little bit of this treasure, Da Vinci? There you go, there's a good dinosaur. Hmm. What's up, soul? Huh? That looks like... Oh my, what a beautiful piece of amber. Ah! What is it, Steggy? Steggy? Is he nuzzling the amber? Maybe he just likes it, or he thinks it's food. Hmm? Why not take it back with us? I don't see any harm in taking one tiny piece from this whole pile. Good point. Okay, let's bring it back. Can I have that, Steggy? Oh my, he really doesn't want to let it go, does he? Maybe it tastes better than it looks. Well, uh -oh. better make sure he doesn't accidentally swallow it. Made it. Oh man, you guys beat me here, huh? Guess I got caught up in the battle. <laughs> Did you see how self-sacrificingly I stalled her for you, Master? You can lean on me even more if you want. Uh, I felt like a bit of a personal grudge too. Uh, yeah, I think that's um, I think that's the option we'll go with here. She's fine with that. By the way, Master, I've got a question for you. What are you planning to do with all these jewels? Leave them. What? You're just going to leave all these jewels here because you don't need them? Then does that mean I can have them? Sure. Woohoo! Alright, I'll just help myself to all the jewels I can carry. Oh man, now this is the kind of work that makes me want to stop for a drink on the way home. And, of course, you're trapped. Hmm? Is that an earthquake? I don't know. It seems to be a lasting an awful long time for an earthquake. In fact, I think the ruins are about to collapse. Looks like Sticky agrees. Isn't that bad? Again? First during the second turn. Huh? Now here, too? Hey, don't look at me. It wasn't my fault this time. Jane, don't tell me you forgot what we discussed and went ahead with plan B. Well, I believe this knife is yours. No, I made sure I disarmed all the mobs I set. No, I think this trap is tied to the entire ruins. That kind of thing happens more often than you think. I don't know if they just do it to ruin your day or what 
or what, but once you finally make it to the treasure in the innermost chamber, and they try to collapse all the passages you just took to get there, as if to say, now you must overcome my final trap. I mean, it makes sense. Something tells me Jane's probably onto something. Okay, Chan Mas. Let's run like our lives depend on it. Let's get out of here. Run, run, run like the devil's on our heels. Crap's only getting worse. We're still a ways off from the exit. I think we might be in some serious danger this time. Let me get out at this rate. Wait, what's that? It is an Achilles! Alright, I made it. Achilles, you came to get us. Yep, we don't have to worry about the traps and stuff now. These situations are all about beating the clock. Besides, the exit's not far off. Mm, carrying all five of you will be tough, but I'll manage. Come on, or, grab on. Oh, you got Kamacho on your shoulders, Chamas on your Mac, Anachi hanging onto your right arm. Me on your left arm, and you're holding Davika with both hands. You Greek guys are amazing. Don't talk, you'll bite your tongue. Alright, here goes. This is going to be the fastest rescue operation humankind has to offer. Jeez, Achilles, show off much? Whew. Thanks, Achilles. Sure, don't worry about it. Just doing my job. Besides, it was nice to put my speed to good use for a change. Are you alright, Master? Thank goodness. I was really worried when I felt the ground shake and saw the ruins start to collapse. I'm so relieved to see you all made it out. I don't know if I'd say all of us. Now that you mention it, I don't see Ishtar or Jane anywhere. Hmm? Ishtar? She was there too? Yep, along with Jane. Damn, seriously? I didn't see him anywhere. This is bad, real bad. We lost some really entertaining people today. Actually, the word I'm looking for might be crazy. I heard that. <laughs> oh, she'll be fine. I'm pretty sure they survived. Just because the way out collapsed doesn't mean the entire ruins did, too. There might be some more mystic traps down there, like that spawn the giant boulders. But they should be fine with Jane there. I'm sure she's got the skills to deal with that thing. Yeah, they will be fine. Forget about that goddess. Can we just be happy about getting the next map? And maybe show a little appreciation to the adorable demon god of love who made that possible. You're right, Camacho. You really help us out. What a good girl you are. And that's for me, was not the reward I had in mind. Hey, at least we accomplished our immediate goal. Now it's time to head back to camp and rest up. Rest up, rest up, rest up, rest up, rest up. Oh. Well, we're definitely trapped in here. Oh, why me? At least we weren't completely buried alive, right? Now here, take this. Aboard? Wait, you don't mean... We're gonna dig our way out. That's right. Unless you have a better idea. But in the meantime, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Now come on, Ishtarin, let's get digging. No, I'm too beautiful for an annual neighbor. I mean, I know I suggested this before myself, but still. Come on, Ishtarin, you can do it. If you don't, the only thing left of you will be a little gravestone that says, Here lies Ishtar. Again, why me? <laughs> Cause you got greedy. That was a pretty fun chapter. Gotta admit. That was pretty fun. Alright, we got four bronze chests and a quartz. And we get a new free quest unlocked. The next main quest here unlocks at 14,000. So that means I need a total of 60 chests, I think. Right? Yes, 60 freaking chests. <sighs> <sighs> Excuse me. Yep, comma, there to see you. That's we'll see my points. So, 60 chests, and I am a little over halfway there. Um, so, let's do the Japanese ruins here. This does look to be a somewhat of a silver currency node. I may as well stick with the chest drop CE. And this party will do. Yeah. Let's roll. Clearing it at least one time. Ooh, that was a good neck pop. And then it looks like there are various treasure quests that we can do as well. And then I think I'll call the stream after I get the various treasure quests done.
Just because I will do the farming in between streams. Because I don't like farming on stream, it just feels like repetitive, grindy content, you know? <sighs> Pardon the yawn. So yeah, we'll do this once, the treasure island quests, which are... Oh, they have a little bit of story associated with them, I think. I think they do. That or the follow-up quest, because it does look like there is a five-part mini-quest after I complete these next two treasure quests, and then we'll be good. Google banners come out tomorrow. Surprise on the stream. Google banners. What's that? I honestly don't know, Cleopatra. And welcome to the stream, by the way. How be things? How be things? Oh, the next banners come out tomorrow. Gotcha. Yep. I do look forward to the next banners. I'm definitely going to be going for Kama. Kama is high on the list. I will be going hard for her. She will come home to my Caldea. One way or another. For my name isn't John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Um, I've debated doing that. The thing is, is I have no idea how they do live updates for that kind of stuff. I mean, I imagine they probably have two monitor streaming setups, but uh, my streaming setup is all on an old TV. Like, a big screen TV is my computer screen, so I don't have a second screen to easily edit that kind of stuff, but I have debated doing that, though. It's something I might look into, especially since I do plan to go for comma or go broke. Not that I'll go broke even if I hit pity, but um, future me will not be too happy with that. No, future me will not. But I'm, I'm thinking about it. I am heavily, heavily thinking about it. I got, like... 24-ish hours to make a decision on if I'm going to be doing a special thing for it. Um, you got pushed back for spending 471. Tell me too much for part 2 worldwide celebration on Duke and Battle. Ah, I mean, you know what? It's your money, so spend it how you see fit, you know? I mean, I'd assume, at the very least, that we are all adults here. If you're an adult and you have disposable income, then you know what? Spend it on what you want to spend it on. Yeah, there you go. It's your money, so spend it how you want to spend it. Only thing I can say is don't spend it on illegal things because, you know, it's illegal. But, I mean, we're all adults. We should be responsible enough to manage our own money, make our own decisions. So if you want to spend a lot of money on a video game, then spend a lot of money on a video game. It's your prerogative, you know? It is totally your prerogative. Okay, and we got some extra chest drops there. That's good. That is good. But yeah, I'm hoping um, you're working with Grand Order to have a business account and offer limited sponsorship to streamers. They like the idea. Hmm. That would be pretty interesting. It would be very interesting indeed. Okay, now Okitan is here. I thought it would be Jason Kama here. Interesting. Alright, um... So, well, I could unlock Mandricar Bros, Spirit Andres. First things first. Also, when did those show up? I feel like those were not there yesterday. Were the, Did those Servant Coins literally just appear overnight? Or am I blind and I just scroll past them? Because I could have swore these were not sitting here. Could have swore. But, um, yeah, we'll... Tokugawa! Sorry about that. Um, five serpent. Oh, I mean... The thing is, though, Cleopatra, is apparently, I want to say... It was years ago at this point, but the Chinese servers did screw up. 
where it was pretty much every spin was at minimum a four-star servant. I don't know what exactly, I think it might have been around the time Merlin was released over in the Chinese servers that that happened, but it was pretty big news, but they did a rollback for that. They say, they say, they, they tend to do rollbacks like that. In fact, I feel like FGO NA did have something along those lines, like not right up, but something that got you extra quartz, I want to say. There was like a bug or something that you could get more quartz than you should have. Started in 2017, yet your account is six to 700 days old. Um, I meanwhile, I'm gonna actually change out my favorite because comma should be there preemptively just to, you know, help her come home a little bit more easily. There we go, comma. You're in the friend. You're in the favorite zone, so that you come home easily tomorrow. Uh, let me think. Let me see here. I know I started playing day one. Yeah, I've got almost two thousand days. I started playing day one, but then I like took a break for a year after a certain point, just because I don't know the game was. I wasn't getting servants on the rolls. I think I went hard on the initial Gilgamesh banner didn't get him and decided, you know what, screw this game. And then I got back in because of Shotgun Shogun. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the treasure on Tokugawa Island. Tokugawa! <clears throat> so yeah, we will go ahead and run this. It does not look like there is any special drops here. Just so. We will go ahead and... Oh wait, I know. Right, no special drops, but it is the, um, this is the nodes that tend to have the currency drops here. So let me see if I can't find somebody with a currency CE on. $160 on Banner 1 was MP2 Saber Okita, MP4 Charlotte, MP1 Anastasia. Um, I did my monthly 80 bucks for September on that, which put me at like 330-ish quarts. In the end, it took me 13 11 spins and 10 tickets for NP1 Okitan. In that time, I got NP4 Anastasia and NP2 Charlotte. Right, we'll go ahead and go with Skaha here. Scotty Skaha. And yeah, the squad will do nicely. The Lambda Sweep. Very, very skills. I have much skills doing the Lambda Sweep. Much skills indeed. I can break my TV into quadrants through windows. Interesting. You stream from your... Yeah, I mean... I My TV is not a smart TV. Um, so I do have to... I Honestly, when I got this new PC... I had to purchase a special software... To allow me to stream my phone onto my PC. Um, but you can split your PC screen into quadrants. That might be something worth looking into. Definitely something to think about. I mean, like I said, I've got about 24 hours or so to figure out how to um, put that kind of price thing up here. Because, I mean... I will admit, I have been watching a lot more of uh, Mist's role streams, and I like how he has it that you can tell how much he's spent, um, what the NP level of everybody is, and that kind of stuff. I do like that. So I might give that a shot. May very well just give that a shot. Ah, uh, excuse me. Been a while since you've done something like that. That's fair. Yeah, these Nobus did not stand a chance. Poor Nobus. Uh, I'm brought up to fake Grand Auras. If you're going to migrate to a business email account, the Google ID, the Play ID, get the 380s, Google and no match the accounts, the game would think that you still be coming to other IDs, so much new ID would be free back to Grand That's how you explain them. Um, as far as I'm aware, there is no association with email for FGO. Like, there's, 
you literally just have to use your in-game transfer ID to, you know, switch your accounts around. Like, I've... In per it went years ago, um, I did giveaways where I would give away me rolling on your account, essentially. And some of those people had accounts that were on Google, um, were in different countries entirely. Uh, one of them was... Gosh, I can't remember. I think one of them was from, tai from Taiwan. And I simply got their transfer ID, logged into their account on mine, after recording my own transfer ID down separately, and I was able to roll and give them their account back, no issues, you know? So, I mean, I don't think there will be any issues with using a different Google ID. You just need to make sure you write down your in-game transfer ID. Uh, hidden treasure, treasure on Lake Island. Okay, so it shouldn't be too difficult. As long as we can get... No, the money CE is gone. Why, oh why, oh why. I do know that a lot of people do wish that there was, it was more secure with an associated email sort of thing. I guess that only doing in-game ID association isn't really all too secure. And a lot of people do wish that you could um, link an email to things, but... I guess if you do lose the account, as long as you can prove that you've made purchases on the account, they tend to be able to recover it for you. So if you have a receipt of purchase, then you should be fine if you lose your account. They also ask that you have like a bunch of your account details as well. So I don't know the full details. I think we have not lost my account, though I have had some scares, especially when I transfer to my new phone here. I was incredibly worried that I would lose this account, which I've spent a lot of money on. <clears throat> lots and lots of money. Speaking of money, give me the CEs for the QPs. Give me those QP CE. Game. There we go, there's Luke. Probably because he's not been on for eight hours. Alright, let's roll. That would actually be really good. Like, multiple factor authentication would really be good. Because I do know a lot of people are concerned about their accounts being stolen. You know? A lot of people do get concerned that their accounts would be stolen for one reason or another. And I mean, that's a very legitimate fear. Like, there are people out there that can do that kind of stealing. And password, cell phone number, and a key. The only thing I can think of a reason why they would not do um, a cell phone number sort of thing is because that could, that definitely is a bit of a privacy breach risk should their server be compromised. That's the only reason I could see them not doing a cell phone number thing, even though. Pretty much most people do play this on their cell phones, so, I mean, it's kind of redundant, but some people do, would be hesitant, because there is, at least in America, a history of your cell phone number being sold off to other corporations if you give it for any single reason. That's why we get all those uh, spam phone calls. Two billion users almost. Yeah. FGO does have a tendency to jump to the number one in uh, mobile games whenever a much anticipated servant does drop. It does indeed. I mean, yeah, it would pro it would probably be expensive to maintain that kind of thing. Admittedly. It would be. Would it be worth it? I think, I feel like it could definitely be worth it for them to do so, but, you know... If they did it, that would be awesome, but I kind of fear that they're not going to. 
Also, I'm just now realizing. I just realized that this over here is gradually filling up with a Holy Grail. How did I miss that? <laughs> like, seriously, how did I miss this just gradually being filled in with a Holy Grail as we do more of this? Good gracious, I am oblivious. Alright, so the Temps Security Guards Summer. So, this would probably be, um... This will probably be Canis' side story. Uh, because our many events, even though the Grand Order said they're going to deviate a little bit for Japanese server, they took down a combat. They say you're spoiling it North America players. The reason was the only reason we've been in event in November, two events in November, two events in Christmas time, and January through March is going to be expensive. I have looked into the beginning of next year, and I honestly, I don't see anybody that I'm really going to be going for. I mean... After Koyan, it looks like I'm not going to be rolling again until whenever Don Quixote comes out. Because I will get Don Quixote as well. That is childhood memories there with Don Quixote. Uh, because I'm going for all the foreigner class servants. That's another thing. I, I am. That's why I'm going for Jacques de Millet. Because I will have every single foreigner class servant in the game. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with getting every foreigner, but I will. No, oh, it's just you, soul. Mm, guess I was pretty tired, but not enough to sleep. Eh, you probably still worked up from everything that happened today. Hang on a sec. Here. What you giving me, Kit? This freshly brewed coffee kidding. I know coffee keeps you awake. It's hot milk. Real hot. I've never honestly tried... I've heard of the hot milk trick to help you fall asleep. I've never tried it, though. Never have I ever tried hot milk. Um, I do have... Co I do have the Koyan that was recently released, but, um... People don't like that Koyan, so she is currently sitting at minus three on my level up chart. So, unless people put points into her, she is not going to be getting leveled up for a very long time. <laughs> very, very long. But thank you, Canis. Nice and warm. They told me it isn't cow milk, though. It's synthetic stuff made at the Wandering Sea. Fake milk? But hey, at least it tastes alright. You don't get many vacations. Makes sense you'd be too excited to sleep. Especially Da Vinci. She's more excited than any of you. Keep an eye on her. Will ya? I will. I will, I will, I will. Cool. Gotta say though, summer vacation not. Sucks pretty hard that we wound up in the Caribbean Sea of all places. Yes, I just can't escape the ocean. But you mention it. You really hated the sea, didn't you, Canis? Ooh, hmm. Which one implies more character growth? Yeah, I really do wish I... I mean, sometimes I wish I could say, Screw the level up order document. But, I mean, I feel like that's one of the things that keeps me a little bit more unique amongst the fake Grand Order streamers, is that I let you guys decide who I level up essentially. And I am debating adding a point reward to uh, force me to stop what I'm doing and level up a servant. But I'm de that's still heavily, you know, I'm debating doing that right now. But did you ever get over thou thine hatred of the sea? Of course not. Well, I guess that answers the question. I just hope that Koyan of the Dark is not going to be uh, kept points down when she comes. What's that? What am I doing in a swimsuit, then? You can thank this Celtic Speared bitch for that. <sighs> Believe me, this is this bullshit outfit wasn't my choice. Hmm? What's with that look? You want to know how it happened or something? <laughs> Alright, fine. 
Since you're having trouble sleeping, I guess I can tell you a boring-ass bedtime story to help knock you out. Alright, then listen up. So we get backstory for everybody's swimsuits, it seems. That's interesting. I like this. I like how it's not just, you know, rune magic. I do have to say, though, Summer Size was amazing. Have you ever had this when you stream what will happen when the ice cream is? Everything will be fine, then it'll start to glitch out on the green screen. Then it'll glitch, would glitch again, force reset, don't know what... Yes, I have had... I've had multiple problems. Um, mainly, though, that was with Reflector 3. I'm on the latest version of Reflector. I don't know if that's changed anything. But I use Reflector 4 to stream my phone to my computer. I don't know if that makes a big difference or not, but I have noticed that I have had a lot less issues sw since switching over to Reflector 4. But I did used to have those issues where the phone would just all of a sudden crash and I would have to restart my phone. I have had that happen before, though, Cleopatra. What the hell's with them? Are those swimsuit spirit origins that petty to detective that was babbling about. You've got to be shitting me. I don't get it. Why would every goddamn female heroic spirit here go out of their way to wear something like that? They all go soft in the head or something. Ugh. <laughs> Surprise, Dante's. Ah. Canis, the divine spirit. Yeah? Wait, you two! You're not a summer hide guy too, are you? No, that can't be right. Uh, welcome, welcome. Takane Shoujo Flower Girl, welcome to the stream. Yes, Canis indeed. We are seeing Canis's swimsuit origin. But, but then why the hell are you wearing a swimsuit? This is Summer Akelte. It started as one of the Celtic Spirit's Gahas pranks. Oh my gosh. Was that... Hang on, hang on. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So the swimsuits were never needed in Summer 1? It was a prank all along? Shisho. Okay, respect for Shisho has just shot up massively for pulling such a great prank. Respect has just skyrocketed for Shisho because of that prank. Also, this music is unnecessarily epic sounding. But now, changing one's outfit during summer is practically a tradition. Do not es expect to escape it, Canis. <laughs> the swimsuit will come for you one way or another. Oh gosh, that would be... That just sounds like the premise of a very weird summer horror movie. Like, a cursed swimsuit slowly turning everybody into, like... Summer-obsessed people or something like that. The Curse of the Swimsuit is what it could be called. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of how that would be a parody of a horror movie. Almost. And now if in a couple of years something like that comes out, I will know that my... I will be confirmed in my suspicions that somebody is listening in on me. Because I've made these sort of weird claims before and they've happened eventually. So if there ends up being a parody horror movie based on swimsuits infecting people with summer fever than I've been listened to. I mean, outside of everybody listening to me right here and now, of course. <clears throat> Don't run off without even giving me a chance to respond, asshole. The hell was he even talking about? Oh, ho. Uh, oh, hey. Skaha. What's this? You're not in a swimsuit spirit origin. Huh? As much skin as you're showing, I just assume you are already using one. Mm, it'll be difficult for you to spend the summer by the sea without the right spirit origin. Shall I give you one? Hell no! Thanks, but no thanks, lady. You want to be generous? Go be generous someone else. I'm not changing my spirit origin. I like it just the way it is. I'm Kinas the Divine Spirit, the Invincible Tyrant. Oh? I don't need to change a damn thing, got it? Now piss off. <laughs> Now, don't be like that. You can't know what inhabiting a swimsuit spirit origin is like until you've tried it for yourself. I don't need to. Too bad. Try these runes on for size. I said no. Ha. 
You're not getting me. Rinkini is the goddamn divine spirit, and this land is the trident of the god of the sea. I don't know the first thing about runes, but I can smash any peasant spells you fling my way, no problem. <laughs> Perhaps you could, if there were only one of me. I have trust you've met my other self before. <laughs> Behind me. You're too late. My runes are already completed, as you can see. Scotty! The betrayal of Scotty and the foreshadowing of what's to come. <laughs> this is hilarious. Um, excuse me. I thought I saw a flash of magical energy around here. Hmm. <laughs> the expression. Oh, that expression's glorious. The hell are you looking at? Damn it, of course Gahas would select a swimsuit on me and just disappear. They better undo this once I find them. Lord Canis. What? I know Summer is in full swing right now, but I'm still surprised to see you of all servants in a swimsuit. <gasps> is it for me? Did you do this for me? What? Is this your way of volunteering to protect me on what's likely to be a dangerous... Well, what is certain to be at least nonsensical... <laughs> nonsensical trip to the Lady Singularity. Huh? Oh, thank you, Lord Canis. I should have known you'd be so magnanimous. I know I'll assign you the position of Caldea's interim security officer just for the summer. How does that sound? Whoa, whoa, slow the hell down. I didn't agree to anything yet. Oh, is that a... No, then. <laughs> right, I should have known it would be presumptuous to ask a divine spirit to fill this position. Mm. Oh, fine. I love how Canis has a soft spot for Gordy. That croissant. Gordy is the man with the croissant. You need a temporary security guard, an interim safety officer. All right. Since, like it or not, I have this spirit origin now, I may as well accept this just this once. Th then you're saying? I'm saying I'll do it. Just for this summer, I'll do my damnest to make sure you're safe. Hey, there you go. And now we're here. Boring as hell, right? Not at all. That was quite fascinating. Oh, I meant to say it was fascinating. You think? Ah, oh, well. I guess I can admit this spirit origin better for just hanging out than I thought. It even came with a sea serpent and surf surfboard. Yeah, it might just be that I'm a writer right now, but it's pretty damn fun riding around on those things. I still hate going in the sea. But aside from that, I guess I'm having fun. Might even be a little grateful to Scott and Scotty. Guess I'll pay a visit to the shrine and give him a clamp as thanks. Where'd you hear that? Hmm? Don't worry, I'll go easy on them. I've gotten used to this whole moderation thing lately. What do you mean by that? What do you mean, what do I mean? A whole bunch of stuff went down earlier today while you were all out. Let's just say I had plenty of chances to practice pulling my punches. <laughs> oh boy, what happened earlier today? What did we miss? Guess we'll find out. So one more party before the battle begins. That's right, something went down this afternoon. It was while you, Da Vinci, and company were out, and I was watching the camp. The first guy to show his face was... Kintoke! I love that they're using this ascension, this Spiriton outfit for him more. I love this outfit so much more than his original one. He looks so awesome like this. Damn, so boss ain't here right now. Guess I must have missed him. I was sure I'd find him here when I saw this camp. And random Mabuki. Oh, that's too bad. There were so many things I wanted to do with our sweet master now that we're out of tropical vacation. Hey, now, I just came here to lend the boss a help at hand. It's such a shame, right, Kentoki? Right. Uh, yeah, right. Why is she standing so close to me? What the hell are you wearing? Huh? Oh, me? I think this is what I wore when I was the Heian warrior. I guess I figured it was close enough to a swimsuit spirit origin. I don't even know when I changed. I don't give a rat's ass about how you look. I'm talking to the chick next to you. Me? This is just how I usually dress. Oh, are you talking about all the silk I'm showing? Skin I'm showing? I figured this would be faster than getting a swimsuit. But I have seen the air of my ways. It's summer and what I need is a swimsuit. It's all about the vibe. Yes, that sounds right. 
Oh, and feelings. Those are important too, right? Humans value those a lot, don't they? So maybe I'll get a swimsuit for myself after all. Foreshadowing. Out on a walk with a girl, huh, city boy? Kind of weird damn move for a guy who's always trying to play the delinquent, ain't it? Just chasing any skirt that happens by now, are ya? Is that how this looks to you? Oh no. Uh, no, Kentucky's firmly with shooting. At least in my head he is. <laughs> oh my, does this mean we look like we're going out? Well, that won't do, will it? Those kinds of rumors spread like wildfire in Caldea, right? But you know, I don't think I could pick just one person and stick to them. Not even Master or Kentucky. I'm still at the age where I just want to have fun without ever and whoever I want. I don't want me to die down yet. And so, I don't really care if you want to walk arm in arm with your lady friends, but do it somewhere else. Of course, if you want to fight for the right to stay here, I'm down. Huh? I don't know how this looks to you, but you got the wrong idea. Can't you see how strong her magical energy is? And her muscles? You think I'm locking arms with her? Hell no! <laughs> She's locking arms with me! I can't get free no matter how hard I try. Oh, Kentucky. Oh, that's not nice, Kentucky. You shouldn't talk about girls being really strong. It makes them seem masculine. Then again, maybe these days that's okay. A compliment to give. Human standards are always changing, aren't they? Right. Look, again, I don't care what you guys get up to. Just go do it somewhere else. <laughs> you say that, but don't you have your eye on someone special, too? And that's why you're wearing that lovely swimsuit now, right, Kenis? It looks great on you, by the way. Uh-oh. Wrong words. You want a piece of meat? You got it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop. <laughs> Where did that spike of magic energy come from? What happened here, Lord Kane? Ibuki Doji! Hey, pre perfect timing, Goff. I could use someone to give me orders and back me up without, with support spells. Let's see how you do as my temporary master. Huh? What's going on? Are you about to spar or something? Come on, let's go! Okay! <laughs> oh, this is great. Gordy as the master. Oh, we're just jumping right into it. <laughs> this portrait's actually up there. That's great. This is just a practice battle, right? Alright, so fiery approach for Ibuki is crit rate up for attack down for Kentoki. And Gordal buffed Canis with an attack, defense, and an HP recovery for the turn. Good damn, Gordy. Stop showing us up as a master. Alright, so we'll do Beach Crisis, for Attack Boost, Sea King style, and more stars. I guess we're not near water. Um, let us aim at Kentucky to get the NP here. Hefa nearly died because he got too cocky. Finally made it out. Octopulsing billow. Not a natural body. Okay. Ibuki needs to go next. Um, Buster Chain. Yeah. Let's break this bar, Canis. Good. Didn't even need to do a buster chain. Right, what is Ibuki gonna do? Oh. Well. That's somewhat disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. I was hoping to actually fight Ibuki, full tilt, but she just ran. Why did she run? Candice isn't, isn't that bad, but she did get a boost from Goff, so let's be honest here. I feel like that helped out a lot. Alright, the next part.
Don't burn the camp down! Hey, watch it! Oh, I'm sorry. I thought the child of Sekiri, Sekiriu would be able to handle a little fire. <laughs> nice, nice. Very nice. So you don't mind burning your boyfriend to ashes to take me down, huh? You're one crazy bitch, aren't ya? I may not like your outfit, but I do love a girl who's not afraid to use everything she's got. Yeah, if you're upset about how much skin I'm showing, you're really not in a position to talk. But yeah, now that you mention it, I think I am having fun. Well, I'm not. Now cut this out already. You're well past simply sparring. As the director of Chaldea, may I remind you that personal battles are strictly off limits. What was that? Uh, because, um, I just figure they're a waste of precious resources. D -d Don't you agree? <laughs> Alright, fine. I'm the safety officer na for now, I guess. So let's just say this is my way of blowing off steam during my break. You okay with that, Goff? That was quite a lot more than just blowing off steam. Well, now that everything's settled, I suppose it's fine. Oh, is it over already? Well, yes, size. The only reason I came here was to help to look for Master. That was quite the commotion. Suna! Seems it was a squabble between two divine spirits. Lady Raiko, I mean, head prefect Raiko. Oh gosh! Man, Suna interacting with Summer Raiko, that's gotta be something. Did the dispute involve Master? No, it seems it didn't. Whew, that's a relief. Summer Ibuki, Ibaraki here as well. Damn it, Suna, qu quit walking so far ahead and look at me already. I'm glad you were so terrified of my Lancer Spirit Origin that you immediately turned tail and ran, but at least wait until I'm done talking. Um, I don't think that's the reason he ran. There's still so much to unpack between Ibaraki and Suna. It'd be easy enough to just twist you into a pretzel, even on my normal Spirit Origin, but my summer one's even stronger thanks to the power of Oni Cure. In fact, my third Spirit Origin might be might as well be Oni Cure. You'd never even stand a chance. This appears to be Master's Camp, Head Prefect. How should we handle this? You're still ignoring me? Uh, let's just head back, Ibaraki. The heat is just awful and practically melting. When did all these other servants get here? Brother Suna, Boss Raiko. And I guess you two are here too, Shun, Ibaraki. Aw, oh, don't be mean, Kentoki. Why would you even want to look at some other girl? I'm assuming there's a girl under that haze when you've got me right here. Haze? Hm? You mean that haze over there looks like something to you? Well, that's weird. I like the other girls here just fine, but there's something about that haze that just irks me. That girl with the long black hair is adorably yappy, and Ibaraki is so high-strung it's cute. But that haze, that haze is always just lingering around Ibaraki. It makes me uncomfortable somehow, so uncomfortable that... I think I'm gonna bounce. Sorry, golden honey bun. Oh, shoot, and gave a look there! Oh snap, shoot and staking her claim. I ain't your honey bun. Alright, Mr. Director Gordolf? Hm? Me? Yes, what is it? He seems pretty busy right now, but if you see my master honey bun, let him know I miss him, okay? That divine spirit certainly seems to like honey buns. Bye bye! Hm. She turned into her spirit form. Ugh. Did you hear that, Suna? Kentoki, this is completely unacceptable. As if trying to get her hooks into you wasn't bad enough. Kentoki, now she's got her sights set on Master, too. Daimo Yoshin or not, that walking ball of unacceptability flies in the face of every ten of the public decency. Prefix, advance. Prefix, advance. Come on, you two. We're going after her. Well, hang on, Riko. I th thought we just came here to look for Master. I can wait. Remember, in my summer spirit origin, I am first and foremost the Shadow Prefect. And I will not tolerate anything which might compromise public decency. See you later, then, Ibaraki. Oh, and one more thing. If you have any demands, you should convey them to Master. Bring that hurt. I want to play more Banner. He just ran away! <laughs> Did you see that, Shun? He must have realized that he was no match for me. Yes, I'm sure that was it. I'm sure it was. So that's what happened. Looks like you're more popular than I would have guessed, Master. Don't know if popular is the right word. What's wrong with it? Besides, isn't it better to be popular than not? Not that I care, anyway. Okay, here's my next story. Those weren't the only guys to show up, after all. The next bunch was... Good gracious, how many people are looking for me? 
Like I suspected, they were looking for someone, too. I gotta ask, though. Is it normal these many singularities to have so many heroic spirits wandering around like that? Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, Gareth! Mordred, where are you? They were in their summer spirit origin, so I'm sure they must be in the singularity. I don't see them anywhere, though. No, oh, it's Gareth and Beansprout. What are you doing? We're looking for Mordred. Okay, why? Now that we have summer singularity, I thought we could get in some special summer training. Is uh, that right? Looks like she's got a huge stick up her ass, too. So you're here to chaperone, Beansprout. Look on your face, says it all. Mm, yes, something like that. I heard the whole thing from the beginning this time, so you're looking for Mordred, hmm? Have you seen them anywhere around here, Lord Canis? Nope. But <laughs> you make enough commotion, that might f they might come find you. Oh, you're right. That's a good idea. Mordred always has been very inquisitive. I'm not sure that's true. Me neither. That sounds quite the leap of logic. That's just summer talking. Now come on, we're gonna spar some more. We are? <laughs> of course we are, Gordy. Of course we are. Alright, Gareth and Jekyll. Jekyll's looking kinda weak there, not gonna lie. I, uh... So... He's stunned, unable to act. So let's focus down Gareth, I think. We're gonna save the guts though for after we break Jekyll. Just because of the Buster or the Berserker MP of his. Break Gareth, good. Where's hot to the touch? That's summer for ya. Okay. And NP now. Good lord, Canis. Stop deleting with your NP. I wanted to use the guts before you broke Jekyll. Stay away, Hyde. And of course, of course this happens. Yeah, you could not drink it. We're, this is all for fun here. You don't need to drink it. I think this is legitimately my first time seeing that NP. I do not think I've seen that NP before, which is kind of sad. Um, B A Q. Okay, Canis is just super OP apparently under Gordy. Canis, no, Gordy is too OP. Please nerf. Another battle node. Alrighty, alrighty. I should have known. You would be a tough opponent to go head to head with. This is rough. Lord Jekyll? Jeez, you done already? Uh, well, I wasn't expecting much from a brain spot to begin with. It's not that. He's a gentleman. He doesn't want to hurt anyone if he can help it. Can't you tell? Uh-huh. If you say so. Guess Morgia didn't show up, though. That's okay. We'll just go back to looking by ourselves. Thank you for helping us. Oh, no. No need to thank us. We basically dragged you into this fight anyway. What was that? Uh, is Henry Jekyll's spirit origin core intact? Oh, good it is. I'll carry him back until he's back up on his feet. Hup. Wow, you're a lot stronger than you look. Tell more did I said hi. Will do. Oh, but please don't pick a fight with them, okay? Okay, lady, I'll try. <laughs> Alright, see you later. And that's how it, that went. 
It was a hell of a lot more peaceful than the first one, that's for damn sure. Canis. Yeah. Have you been attacking everyone who comes here? <laughs> dinner prep wasn't enough to keep me occupied until you got back. Oh, speaking of which, dinner was pretty good. Right. True. Now you're going to tell me something about dinner. Right. I've never cut corners with cook. I never cut corners with cooking. I might be a divine spirit, but once I agree to do a, a job, I do it damn well. Well, I might welch on my agreement with a king or god, but god ain't any of those. I'm trying to tyrant though, so I gotta indulge my impulses now and then. What is it now, Canis? Oh, um, I was just thinking. I know what I finished telling you a minute ago, but that third bunch that showed up here were actually pretty tough, even for me. Who'd you uh, spar with this time? Of all those servants to show up, it was. I guess it's kind of what they call destiny. Personally, I could have done without it. Remember how I got the spirit origin? Ah, she showing Scotty. Oh. Oh, hello. What is it, Queenie? So I thought we came over to the Caribbean for a nice walk. So I love how this is subtly foreshadowing. Like, Canis' interlude is already foreshadowing pretty much a lot of summer sermons for next year. We have Scotty, we have Gareth, we have Ibuki. We have the Valkyries! <laughs> This is a camp, isn't it? Oh yeah, do you think it's Masters? I don't see him here, though. Yes, this is definitely a camp. It must be where Master and Da Vinci are staying, though it seems neither of them is here right now. What are you doing here, Canis? Are you guarding the camp? <laughs> hmm, I knew it. Your new swimsuit spirit origin looks good on you. Indeed it does. I thought it might have been unkind of us to just leave you connect an outfit connected to the ocean you love, but it certainly does suit you. Look so brave and gallant in it as though you have been made the see your own. How very healthy of you, Canis. You look beautiful. The hell did you just say? Uh oh. It's not as big of a. It's not as big of a trigger button as with Penth, but still not a good thing to say. <laughs> Never mind, we're sister. I wonder where sister could be. They want to know where Bryn is. Things seem sense over there, but I'm more interested in where sister. Why are they so obsessed with finding Bryn? <laughs> Ooh la la, and who is the bathing suit Cloud Duty? I can't believe I've been neglecting you all the time. Oh, Napoleon, no! Pardon me, mademoiselle, but allow me to introduce myself. I'm Napoleon, the heroic spirit. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. We've met before, dick. Oh my, what a passionate gaze. You know, I honestly don't hate creeps like you all that much. You might be an arrogant, muscle-headed son of a bitch, but at least you're honest about what you want. But, much as I don't mind being friends with guys like you, any, I mean, any piece of shit who hits on me dies. No exceptions. Oh, ho. Oh, my. I think we may have pushed her too far. Valkyries, prepare for battle. Huh? Um, I know this isn't our official chain of command, but I know there's something about Lady Sky that makes me want to listen to her, her when she speaks. Exactly, you just can't say no to her. Maybe it's because she's a Norse goddess. We're sorry about this, Canis of Greece. Preliminary battle signs confirmed. Any come any closer and we'll be forced to meet you in combat. Bring it the hell on. Halt. Whatever the reason for this dispute may be, I cannot stand idly by while a single warrior faces several others alone. I therefore have no choice but to side with Canis in this battle. Come at me, come at us when you are prepared to fight. Sigurd! I, Sigurd, will meet you where you stand. And Bryn! If that's your decision, Sigurd, then I'll do the same. It's all great. All right, Canis, we're here to help. Well, well, that's real generous of you both. Sister Bryn. But why? This can't be happening. Interesting. Sigurd, the great hero, Bryn Hildur, the divine, the fallen divine spirit, and Canis, the divine spirit of the sea. I cannot ask for worthier opponents. This may well be the most promising battle I have fought in some time. As if things weren't already complicated enough. <laughs> now what's going on over here? Ah, oh, this is more servants than I was expecting. What is... 
Good timing, Goff. Come be my temp master again. Huh. Oh, no, no, no. How many battles have you fought? Already, Lord Canis. I have Nario Drop Magical Energy left. It's just sparring, okay? And it's almost sunset, so this will be the last one of the day. Now, come on. We're going to kick their asses and then start prepping for dinner. Oh, man. Poor Gordy. Poor, poor Gordy. I actually don't know who the male um, swimsuits are next year, off the top of my head. Are they foreshadowing that as much? Gordolf's Lament, I can't do this much more. Oh, poor Gordy. Alright, so let's focus on the class advantage attacks here. Oh no, that's my phone freezing. Okay, that was my phone. I should not have bullied Ortland down first. Ortland is the best of the Velks. Sorry, Ortland. Holy cow, that was a big hit for Brynn. On Brynn. Um. Throod. I should probably use Brynn's skills, because I'm pretty sure she has guts. Bye, Bryn. Sorry. Uh, let's get some NP build up here. That's a Sigurd NP at the ready. And almost a Canis one. Uh... Okay, so the male servants are not being foreshadowed here. I forgot Napoleon was here. Whoopsie. Okay. Uh, Sigurd really doesn't have a good matchup here against anybody, but we could probably take down Scotty with him. Gen <laughs> some stars. And do this as well, just save. Wanted to see if I could get some, but did not. And do do do. Should be enough to take out Gahafia. And now Scotty. Oh, damn that crit smacked. All right, well done. Now it's Napoleon. And he gave us an NP, so that is game, set, match. That was pretty good. Pretty easy, very amusing. Very amusing indeed. Still think that Sai's little uh, swimsuit story was the most amusing so far, though. Not gonna lie. Gotta love it when more servant verse lore is introduced. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. All right, and the final node of the day, because I do not have the capability to fully level up Summer Da Vinci, so I will not be doing so. I think I will unlock the Spiritons for Mandrakar, Bro, and Bro Beard, though. Ooh la la, I guess I should have known my usual artillery wouldn't be enough. Whoa. Tch. With a harpoon instead of a trident, your technique is as sharp as ever. I have no words other than magnificent and corosho. Never mind the compliments, use your noble phantasm on already. You won't even be able to shatter Scotty's castle. I like your spirit. Scotty myself from another land? What say you show them the true powerful of two Skahas working together? Our true power. I don't recall ever having such a thing. Could she be talking about the primordial runes or the gift I received from Odin? No, that can't be it. We're not we're not if we're combining our power. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I am no. I'm not. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Neither do I. <laughs> you're just making it up. 
I thought we were fighting, not doing a Kami set. Fine, if that's how you want to play it, I'll show you what this Spirit Orger can really... Hold it! Damn it, what now? Who the hell are you? I was told this was Master's summer base of operations, and unfortunately, I can see that further combat threats destroyed entirely. So if I must stop this battle myself, then I will, and to do that, come my wooden horse. Connecting to Aegis. <laughs> Just randomly coming in. Okay. Odysseus' Trojan horse? That bastard! Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, this battle was already escalating too rapidly for my tastes. Now things are going to get even more out of hand. Our poor camp will never survive. Then I'll use my Talos to stop Trojan horse in its tracks. What? <laughs> What is this? Whoa. What is that enormous thing? No, wait, I recognize it. It's Talos the Bronze Giant. Well, well, the Queen Europa's here too. Is anybody else gonna show up out of the woodworks? Yes, I'm glad you're here enjoying yourself, Canis. It's wonderful to see you smile like that. Makes me want to smile right along with you. Don't you two agree? The deal scurry as well, why not? Not in the slightest. Come on, brother. Didn't you say you were willing to help the Queen if we had the chance? Not to mention when we were talking to Voyager. Pollux. Oh, what did Voyager have to say? Oh, I've got armaments from the Age of Gods too, huh? Things are getting bigger by the minute. What do you say, Queenies? Mm. Now you're talking. <laughs> of course she would be into it. Looks like your opponents are still raring to go, Goff. Come on, we can't stop now. What is it now, Musik? Uh, e? Enough already! Gordy putting the foot down, showing the true dad energy. And there you have it. I would have liked to finish that last battle properly, but I have to give Musik credit for standing his ground. In the end, we all made dinner together with Queen Europa supervising. Not a bad day, all told. Being a safety officer didn't turn out to be a boring after all. Hell, I didn't even have to take... I didn't even have time to take a break. If it's going to be this fun, I wouldn't mind holding down the port more often. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Finally fell asleep, huh? Alright, you might not be Odysseus, but... Hope tomorrow's another great adventure for you, Master. Sweet dreams. Fine, I guess I better throw a blanket over you so you don't freeze. Jeez. I think Kanye says that big... Sib that older sibling energy, you know. Alright, but that is a Quartz Obtained. So, the next is at 14,000 points. I do actually have enough treasures to do that now, but considering how long this one took, I will not be doing that today. Instead, I will really quickly be popping over to the wardrobe shop, and I will unlock one of them today. We'll unlock Brobeard. Hi, Summer Gentlemen. Yeah, this isn't too bad as far as Matt's goes. Alright, Brobeard, it's time to assume your ultimate form. Look at the dapperness. Hey, hey, what do you think? Believe it or not, this only same old thing only cost me 398 QP. Don't you think that's a steal? Do you think it's cursed? So, it is cursed. Seriously? It cost me 3 million QP, Brobeard! Yeah, look at that. Look at the drip there. Brobeard is rocking it. I wish I could look that good. Alright, but uh, yeah, I do think I will be streaming tomorrow where Summer Kama will finally be unleashed into the world. So we'll be streaming the roles as well as the next section of this. In the meantime, I will probably be running... Um, is it Remote Island I've been running? I feel like it might be. Either remote, yeah, it's been Remote Island that I've been running for the... Uh, bronze mats here which is how I've gotten so far but yeah that will be for me to worry about um, next time on Fate Grand Order we're gonna be doing some summer comma rolls as well as well just doing the event itself this is a bit of a longer one as far as you know each segment goes but 
It's a fun one. I am definitely, definitely enjoying myself. I'm just curious here, though. How many points total to get all of the Da Vinci eggs? 15,000? So yeah, we'll be able to level up Da Vinci here soon enough. Honestly, probably next stream is when we'll level up Da Vinci. But that's future me concerns for now. Thank you all so much for coming out. I do hope you've enjoyed today's stream. If you have, leave me some feedback in whichever way you so see fit. If you want to check out more by me, be sure to check out my channel here on Twitch or YouTube. Same name, same games. There is plenty of content for you all to enjoy. But once again, thank you so much for coming out. I do hope you enjoyed. Have a fantastic evening, everybody, and I hope to see you tomorrow.